what is up? Today's video is going to be my November favorites. I do apologize if I am a little late. I have no excuse other than the fact that the time just slipped by me and that just happened, okay? So without further, further ado, I'm just going to get into this video. The off I want to show you is this, which is the Ace Beauty Grandiose palette um i got this in a boxy charm and i just want to let you know there a little mishap happened to one of these but it still works um and they look like these they're so beautiful i've used these a couple of times to go to work i've used these a couple of times just for everyday look um and i just love it i also love the fact that it's matte and black and gold it is a little dirty because you know when you use a palette shit just happens that way so just forgive me on that but i really love this palette um i'm pretty sure you can look this up online and find um the products there i'm going to show you this one this one actually this palette i started using this palette in in october when i was doing like my drag king looks and i began to do like sort of just different different looks for the month of October and this one in particular just really stood out to me um especially when I do my drag king look it just like basically helped me chisel out my face to make me look more like a dude um and that is this pure um cosmetics um it's like a sculptor palette it's like a highlight and sculptor palette I'll show you what it looks like here um it looks practically brand new but i've i've used the shit out of this if you can tell um i've used these like maybe once or twice and i've used this one maybe once but i've i've been sticking mostly to this color especially this is the shade inventor oh my god like if you if you don't have this palette or if you're not subscribed to boxycharm you need to get your hands on on this palette some way or another because it is amazing if i okay so i was really excited for this bad boy to come through the mail in my boxy charm by the way i have a the boxy lux box which is a little bit bigger i'm super super excited for that but anyway i got this in a box charm i had seen these like hyped up for like the past probably year or so um, and this is the cover effects glitter drops and I'm just going to open this up and just show you it's literally glitter, but I use this for my entire face and it made myself have like this really cool glitter glowy. I, I can't explain it, but I really love this. One of the things that I all obviously recommend is to do this before you set your foundation, like do it like right where you are planning on and then put another highlight, like a powder highlight on top of it. Once you get to the stage that you're at with your highlight. So that's a tip for, for you guys. Let's talk about this. I've had these for now a year. Um, Shannon Rose came out with a, um, I think two colors, um, by this brand, IGO, IGXO Cosmetics. Um, it's a cruelty and vegan company that like, I guess makes like makeup products. Um, and this is like the packaging that I come with. I'm really surprised I still have the packaging. I actually have packaging for both of them, but this shade right here. And I know you're like, girl, this is a red. You always talk about, you're not a huge fan of red. I'm wearing this color now, but this is such a really pretty, red i think this is a really good red for the holidays um in my opinion uh i feel like this color is just an overall like just real good um red um also it smells like roses in my opinion i guess because um her name is shannon rose and this is red. I think that's kind of ironic. And this color is called Cult, by the way, if anybody was interested. I'm not really sure. Next, I want to talk a little bit about this highlight. This highlight basically changed my life when I first bought it. And I, and I lost it for a while. Like, probably about a month or maybe two or three months. I'm not even sure. But this was, like, my go-to highlight. I don't know why. Um, usually, I tend to stick full with, like, white highlights or like anything that doesn't have any gold or like any sort of like weird um colors to them but this one in particular really stood out for me um and and when i bought it i was so excited when i got it and this is the the collab that um happened between 
Jeffrey and Menu Mue like a while ago at, at least. This is the shade Eclipse. This is what the color is. Um, is this really pinky, like, like pinky, but like has like, I don't know. I can't really explain it to you, but this is what it looks like. It, I'm wearing it on my cheeks. I don't know if you can see the, the highlight on my nose or anything like that, but girl, I love the shit out of this. Like I will put like 500 pounds of it on my cheekbone. Like I'm surprised my cheekbones ain't sunk in because of that reason. But I seriously love, 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 um, I love that highlight. I just, I just some issues with my lips being really, really dry and I've been putting like chapstick on my lips all the time or I've been putting some sort of something on my lips. Um, and so I forgot I had both of these actually. And, um, when I was cleaning up the house and, you know, organizing things for the holidays and this, that, and a third, I found, um, these, well, I had this and I was using this for a while, but then I found this. Um, so the first one is this one, which is only in a, like a little travel guy. It's from Trust Fun Beauty. It's the Lipgasm Lip Scrub Exfoli Exfoliant. Really like that. Um, and then this one was from Seraphine Botanicals. This is the Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer. Now, depending on what I'm wanting, I will um or what's going on with my lips usually i tend to stick with this one now but um this one you know like maybe once a week i give it a little good scrub it is a small um container of it but i really love these and a little goes a long way when it comes to lip scrubs i need to get my hands on some jeffree star lip scrubs and see how they are because i want to talk a little bit about this razor here that i um I had this razor for a while in packaging and this, um, this probably has been out for a while, but I only, if you know me, I only use men's razors and a lot of people have told me to go and like get a subscription to the dollar shave club or something like that. But I already have a hundred billion, a <laughs> hundred billion subscriptions now and I don't need another one. Um, so this one is the one that I use. It's the, um, Gillette Fusion. It's in the, it's a yellow one. So it's the yellow one, but this one has like five or six blades. It's really good. Like literally like when I grew up my hair, cause I did, let me tell you, I did no shave November. It lasted up until like the last week. And then I had to like do it, you know, like shave my legs. But anyway, um, when I was doing no shave November, um, and afterwards I literally, I just went like this and it picked up all of the hair and so next um this is um something that i've been doing is has been taking care of my skin lately um i've been noticing i've been breaking out a lot i don't know if it's just because i've been working out really really intensely now or or what is going on with my skin right now i have no idea but i thought in order to tame it i would start using i have a lot of like little samples of skincare products that i've just trying to get rid of and everything and this actually like I found it I was like oh my god and this is the Dead Sea Mineral Anti-Stress Mask this is from that Freeman's line um it looks like that literally you use this like twice like literally I'm almost done I'm going to like try to find this again um but literally you what I do is like when I take a bath um, cause I like to soak my bones after like a workout, really intense workout, especially, um, I'll put this all over my face. I'll wash my face of course first and I'll put this all over my face and let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes I even do it longer than that. And basically it's a nice, like just, you know, you just be in the bathtub, but it, but strangely enough, it's been helping my skin out. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to. It says it clears and smooths pores and it's made for all skin types so if you do have sensitive skin I would be careful with it and you know test it out first before you put it all over your face and have a really bad reaction so um I'm gonna show you these um these are the shampoos that I've been using um I go back and forth between shampoos all the time but this is the one that I'm using now just because like I'm trying to save a few coin I've had this 
I got this at the end of October because I ran out of shampoo, of course. But everybody's like, you're talking about shampoo, big fucking deal. And you have no hair. Um, <laughs> but the Aussie Mega Moisture there have been helping me out so much, especially now that I've been bleaching my hair and I'm obviously silver, gray, whatever the hell this thing is. This has been helping me out so much. It keeps my top part of my hair very soft and then when my hair was actually coming in and growing it oh my god y'all it was like so soft like literally when I cut my hair I was like playing in it for a few minutes and I was like oh this is so soft like I really like it you know like <laughs> um, okay so first I want to talk about these bad boys these are the Luna chocolate peppermint bar peppermint stick protein bar things I don't really think they're high in protein they only have eight grams but these are gluten free so if anybody has any kind of like tummy problems you know these will be like probably your best friend i don't know because you got to be careful on these because sometimes they'll say gluten free but you got to just it says it's non-gmo and everything else and my mom loves these and she's not a like power bar or protein bar type person and she's like these are yummy but so good y'all like i totally recommend if you are going to uh, find these you can get these at Trader Joe's by the way if you're curious um that is so um the last thing that's kind of foodie besides one other thing is these Trader Joe's dark chocolate wedges I, I'm pretty sure y'all know about these bitches but as you can tell I love them so much that I actually have gone through like four of these in a month like I, I can sit through a whole sitting and, and eat these but these are really good for like if you want to like portion size like your sweet let's say you have a sweet tooth and you're like okay i only am going to eat like two of these because this is what the serving is um you can do that and also these tins can come in handy too for like storage and stuff like that so our trader joe's is flavored sparkling water one. this is i mean the lime flavored one but girl these things if you are trying to cut out soda and you can't just flat out drink water Try switching to these if you're trying to drink more water. Like, literally, there's no calories in here. There's there's nothing in here. It's just, like, the flavor of lime, and it's the sparkling water. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about these. These are um, things that I've been taking for the gym. I think I might have mentioned some of these before. First off, this is my pre-workout. This is the NOS Blast pre-workout amplifier from Body Fortress. I also have protein from this brand um it was like strawberry flavor that was really really good this is actually the fruit punch i personally don't like fruit punch because i'm a weirdo um but this one is so freaking good i don't i don't understand how how they made it that good for not having that much calories in here well lastly is this this is the amino blast from body um fortress this is the lemon lime this is something that i've been doing and you're gonna think i'm a crazy person is epsom salt cleanse it's just really good to cleanse like your internal stuff at least once a month um i'm gonna try to do a video on this eventually but um on how to do it but i just wanted to mention the epsom salt cleanse because yeah all right lastly is the scent of the month this is like one of the shortest like favorites because i don't have that much stuff it feels like um and that is vanilla bean noel from bath and body works i have been spraying the shit out of vanilla bean bean noel i i love this lotion oh god girl this stuff smells so good like i have literally haven't used this in over a year and it smells so delicioso all right so that was it i hope that you liked this video definitely thumbs it up uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here and if you have a comment on what is your favorite for the month definitely do that as well and like i always say whether you're dressed up dressed down you're beautiful bye